Good morning, delegates, educators, and volunteers. I am delighted to join you this morning on behalf of the UN Association of the National Capital Area, one of the largest and most active chapters of the UN Association of the USA, which mission is to educate and mobilize Americans to build a strong US-UN partnership. Welcome to our full virtual Model UN training conference organized by our signature education program, Global Classrooms DC. Since December of 2019, COVID-19 has fundamentally changed almost every aspect of our lives. But I want you I want you all to think for a moment and think that you're currently living through a major historical moment. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to wreak havoc on public health and the global economy, the countries of the world must plan for the future. Working together to reach herd immunity is the best approach to regain a sense of normalcy. To accomplish this, Brazil proposes that every country commit to vaccinating at least 70% of its total population and help less developed nations do the same. Higher income countries with a surplus of vaccines must be willing to address vaccine scarcity in less developed nations by providing under-vaccinated countries with vaccine doses and distribution materials. This committee must coordinate the response and create a global education campaign to encourage vaccination. Stopping the spread of COVID is necessary to accomplish a global financial recovery. It is imperative that the nations of the world pull together and share resources to combat this terrible virus that knows no boundaries. COVID-19 is an issue to every country until it concerns no country. Thank you. The Central African Republic has 11,666 confirmed COVID cases and 101 reported deaths. 6.78% of the population is vaccinated. With no modern healthcare facilities outside of, the ho of one hospital in the capital, they are doing remarkably well. Unfortunately, the Central Republic of Africa needs assistance in providing adequate public health care to their people. The distribution of modern medicine is lacking and access to safe water and sanitary health facilities is non-existent. Something needs to be done for the people of the Central Republic of Africa, not only regarding COVID-19, but general public health services. Thank you. Thank you. The state of Haiti is a country located in the Caribbean. Over this past year and a half, this country has faced a lot from having a high infection rate due to the dense population of nearly 11 million and to a presidential assassination. But the Haitian spirit hope to turn this pandemic into an endemic. So as a whole, the state, the state and slash country hopes to provide vaccines, relevant information and good precautions. And I hope everyone can do the same. All in hopes to be prepared for, the, for if this were to ever happen again. 5,143,223. That's how many people in the world have died from COVID-19. The only way to stop this is to get the global population vaccinated, but this is no easy task. Why? The vaccine hostage situation. The delegation of Niger is of the strong belief that a method for their vaccine distribution must be reached. Niger suffers firsthand from vaccine hostages with only 2.1% of the va population vaccinated, but still it has already partnered with the WHO in order to reach its goal of vaccinating 30% of the population by December of 2021. To work towards a more equitable vaccine distribution system, Niger proposes the creation of a vaccine company in collaboration with the WHO, which would utilize research from vaccine creators in order to create and distribute necessary vaccines in an equitable manner. Thank you. Committee today, I want you to think about how COVID-19 has affected your community and the meaningful action that you can begin to advocate for change in your community and to stand in solidarity um, with people around the world who are who are facing um, who, who are facing the issues that we talked about today as a result of the pandemic. So thank you so so much for the opportunity to come and speak about my Malay Nations journey.